Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 53 of the full game walkthrough. Today we're going to be finishing up the floating land. Uh, off camera, I did the crafting quest in Celestia, so now I'm actually level 59. So we're one level away from being able to do waterworks and zigzag. So that's going to be fun. So let's talk to... to Tupa Tawa? Outsider! We have your sky captain. I am called Tupa Tawa. I am speaker for Water Mole Tribe. I cannot speak to you now. You are a wizard, and I cannot trust your words. I had magic stick to protect me from wizard words, but stick was taken by Galwok, big chief of water lurkers. If you bring me back magic stick, I'd be willing to speak with you, wizard. He also has these unusable spells, but we're going to grab them anyways. Just because they are free. Pretty sure they're not useful. a little far away thankfully I haven't seen any ice bosses around here so hopefully just those minions from the beginning are the only ones that we had to fight this guy's probably going to be Storm. He's actually fire. You will not take magic stick from me. Kawak using it to break off a shell. All right, 4,000 health. I completely forgot we have Gargantuan. I don't even know why I drew for that. Actually, crit on us. I think because of boost, we should be able to get away with not putting a faint on. There's our gargantuan, so let's go ahead and use it. So I think even without the crit, we would have still killed him. Stick, be safe to talk. If 
you want Captain back, you must help Water Moles. Jungle Tooth stole our sacred idols, took them into the jungle. Water Moles afraid to go look for them. You not afraid? We watch you fight Jungle Tooth before. Now you go find Water Mole idols and bring back. I think those are just like right over here. To be honest, since these are just right here, let's just switch realms. them all back i almost believe you friends with water mole tribe but you're not there yet jungle tooth still trouble our village if you go and fight them they think you one of us and leave us alone Just go over here. Let's see how much health they have. They're ranked 10 elites. 15. That's a good bit. I think we should still be able to uh, just use our giant. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to do an extra turn. I for sure we're gonna kill them. Maybe we can actually get this guy by himself. Maybe not. They probably move pretty fast. Oh, that's, we're not going to make that. We still don't have enough, are you kidding? Man, our pip game sucks today.
Jungle Tooth still a threat. They led by old wild tree called Tangle Root. You go defeat Tangle Root, and we ready to talk. What if this guy's ice? I have a feeling he's gonna be ice. We're gonna find out though. And he's actually life. Okay. I'm okay with that. You do not belong here. You have no roots. I will bury you. So far, it's kind of been disappointing. The amount of health that they had. Probably gonna need a faint on him though. So if we can find our amulet faint, it should be good. Alright, there's our amulet blade. Or faint, excuse me. So let's actually double faint. Next turn we'll use our frost giant. Not sure if a single blade's gonna be enough to kill the minion though. Actually if he hits us with something it's gonna hurt. No crit. We still did enough though. Didn't think that we would. Going the wrong way. That's why this quest arrow sucks sometimes. Tried. We speak as friends now. If you seek Sky Captain, you must follow trail up towards place where Skyfish fall from sky. You not know of Skyfish trouble? Big silver Skyfish drift over Water Mole Village, then fall. Boom! Our people suffer much when this happened. Go and speak with Kornokala. He a brave warrior. He tell you what must be done. You looking for source of problem? Big sky fish fall on village. Caught waterfall spirit. Whoops. Coruscade very upset. 
Do go make peace with it. You get nine thousand for it. I actually go to this teleporter. Where's it at? So I wonder what the lore of the teleporters are. Like, why did water moles have teleporters at their village? Greetings, solid one. The skyship has poisoned my waters. If the waters are not purified, this jungle will die. To purify the waters, I must have some sacred wood from the jungle thorn trees. Go and fetch me some. We actually just got that XP just to talk to him. Defeat and collect. Alright, we're killing next turn. Hopefully we collect. Uh, our luck has actually been pretty good so far in this world, I think. Pretty sure we're at, at least 75%. I think we're 100, but. And now that I say that, we're not going to collect any here. It's actually deciding not to do anything to us, too. two or three so now we just need at least one from these guys come on there we go to be honest i don't even remember much from this area Now we have good pips. Wait, we boost on death, really? to the water mole shaman, Tupa Tawa. He must craft for you a sacred bowl. Bring it back to me when you have it. I'm gonna leave that mark. Teleporter should be the fastest way.
waterfall spirit chorus aid send you. I make bowl for you. In a very short time, Tupatawa crafts a bowl for you out of the sacred bark. Now take back to Chorus Gate, so he can fix water. This will do. I have filled the bark bowl with my heart's water. It will purify the lake. Take the bark bowl to the edge of the lake and pour it in. Does this waterfall not lead to the lake? Wait, we definitely have to do more stuff here. There's, I mean, we got this whole area. Oh, actually, we still haven't even talked to the guy yet. The guy that we're supposed to find. You pour the purified water into the lake. Oh, they're not even going to say anything. Kind of rude. We're out here saving them. They don't even have anything to say to us. They get 7,000 for this, though. I guess we'll forget them. More than halfway to... Uh, actually, no, we're almost to halfway. To level 60. How far out do they spread? No, he's just T posing. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do something in here. There's no way we don't. You at last, and from the most unlikely of sources, a wizard. Oh, you're looking for submersible parts. Well, look around. When the Explorer crashed, they were scattered everywhere. When you've gathered them up, you should head down to Celestia Base Camp. You're a sight for Whoops. sore eyes. I'm afraid the Explorer won't be skyworthy again, but salvage is still to be had. Those rubble rousers are an unwelcome complication to any possible salvage operation. Wait, is this a side quest? Oh, this is a side quest. Let's get Healing out of that. Healing them will be of help to all, explorer and water mole alike. Where are these parts at? We're just going to have to find them. Oh, there they are. They're in these little crates. I got this. I think this is the end, right? We just go to... Yeah, we go to Edith. No member of our expedition could have achieved so much in so little time. Is it possible for you to go to the Hippodrome in the area called Stormriven? Speak to a man named Leland Hopkins when you get there. He may know where Thurston Plunkett has gone, and he'll be ever so grateful for your assistance. So we're finally going to Stormriven. 
just over here, I think. Yeah. So we only have three more areas of Celestia. Um, to be honest, I think we're gonna stop this one right here. So the next episode we can start Storm Ribbon and hopefully finish that. Maybe even get to level 60. Um, so I'm just gonna keep this one a little short. Thanks for watching.